I would like to talk about looping with indexes and also looping while counting upward, because usually when you're trying to loop with indexes, you really just need to count upward as you're looping. So in this loop here, we are looping over favorite fruits, which is a list of strings, and we're printing out n and fruit, which is each of our fruits. n is a counter, a little variable that we're keeping track of ourselves. We're incrementing it by one, uh, each time in our loop as we uh, iterate, and we started at one. So we're starting one, jujube, two, pear, and so on. You might think, well, instead of keeping track of this little counter ourselves, how about we think in terms of indices, and we use range of len, favorite fruits, to grab each of the indexes of all the items in this list, and then index the list manually, and add one to each of these indices. So this gives us the same result as before, except that we're kind of uh, using range of length to help us a little bit here. I would not recommend doing this. I wouldn't recommend doing this because the official Python style guide, PEP8, recommends against it. I also wouldn't recommend doing it though because when you're using range of length, there's usually one of two things you wanna do either entirely get rid of this and instead do what we were doing before where you're saying for fruit in favorite fruits, or if you actually do need some kind of counter as you're looping, use the built-in enumerate function. So that's right here. The built-in enumerate function Python will do all of this work for us. We give enumerate our iterable, which in this case is our favorite fruits list, and we can optionally give it a start value. If we don't give it one, it defaults to zero. In this case, we want it to default to one or we want it to set it to one. So we've set it to one there. As we loop over enumerate, it's going to give us two item tuples, two item tuples that have two things in inside them. That's why they're two item tuples. They've got the number that it's keeping track of counting upward and the actual item that it's grabbing from favorite fruits as it's looping over favorite fruits for us. So we could say here item zero and item one to grab those to index this tuple. Uh, but a better way to do this is to use a tuple unpacking to give these things a variable name to say in comma fruit equals item and use in and fruit. If something's important, it deserves a name. That number is important. That actual uh, item there, fruit, is important. So we've given these variable names with tuple unpacking. Now it turns out this can happen anywhere an assignment happens, and this is an assignment. So we can actually do this right inside of our for loop. And this is really the most common way you'll see enumerate used. You've got two things with a comma between them. And the first one is the number. The second one is the actual item that you're getting as you loop. So if you think you need to loop with indices, first ask yourself the question, do I even need some kind of counter as I'm looping? And if I do, can I just use enumerate to do that counting for me? That's it.